nothing. Oh, sorry, no, I can, I'm really, this is really a joke. No. I mean, uh, sing American Pie and, and explain what each of the lyrics mean. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I could take that straight. Yeah, I did. That was. Uh oh, this is with a view. Yeah, that is. So. Okay. American Pie yeah. straight. Oh, that's what a little sensor bar is for. <laughs> 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 yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be my my arm, like. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is really this is really corny and camp because of okay. course American Pie is a silly song, but. Uh, so the first part, the slow part, of course, is about him being a young newspaper kid, to uh, delivering newspapers, and he delivers this, the news about mm -hmm. Buddy Holly, plane crash. Mm -hmm. He's talking about his widowed bride. So it goes. <laughs> Long, long time ago, I can still remember how the music made me smile. And I knew if I just had a chance, I could make those people dance and make them just happy for a while. But February made me shiver with every paper I delivered. Bad news on the doorstep, I couldn't take one more step. I can recall if I cried when I read about his widow bride But something touched me deep inside the day the music died So bye bye Miss American Pie Throw my Chevy to the levee but the levee was dry Buddy Holly sang a song called That'll Be the Day That I Die. Ah. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah. Actually. Now, the first part is just about the 50s. Did you write the book of love and do you have faith in God above? Everybody told me so. And do you believe in rock and roll and music save your mortal soul? And can you teach me how to dance? But I knew that I was out of love the day the music died. And they were singing bye bye, Miss American Pie. I drove my Chevy to the levee, but my levee was dry. And good old boys were drinking whiskey and rice, singing, This will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Now, the next part's about <clears throat> the people becoming aware and out of the 50s and coming out and becoming folkies and the jesters Bob Dylan and the King is Kennedy. Okay? For 10 years we were on our own but moss fat throws fat on a rolling stone but that's not how it used to be. When the jesters sang for the King and Queen in a Cody bow from James Dean and a voice that came from you and me. Kennedy got shot, of course. But when the king was looking down, the jester felt his throaty crowd. No, the verdict, though, the courtroom was adjourned. No verdict was returned. And this part's about all the depressed guys singing in a gloomy place of poetry while the Beatles are practicing. Um, somewhere in the park, okay. Shea Stadium, and Lynn, and then the rest is successful. Oh, and uh, okay, no, where was I? Sorry. Uh, uh, no, the, the courtroom was adjourned. No verdict was returned. And my we sang is in the dark. The quartet practice in the park. Oh, I screwed up. Oh no. And my linen, linen, linen read from oh, a yeah. book of marks. See, John, oh, I see what we sang dirges, 
the quartet practice in the park, and we sang dirges in the dark. The day the music died. No, I'll skip the chorus. Okay, now the next verse is about the 65 and the birds and Helter Skelter, Charlie Manson and Fall Shelter and mm. Sergeant Pepper and 67. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Helter Skelter in the Fall Shelter, birds fly high through a fallout shelter, eight miles high is the song they say, and falling fast. The players tried to go a forward pass with the Chester Bob Dylan who had been in a car wreck on the sidelines in a pack and a cast. Now the halftime air, that's summer of 67. The halftime air was sweet perfume as we all listened to the, the marching tune. Yeah, the Sgt. Pepper is only hired to the But as we tried to take the field, the Sgt.'s band refused to yield. No, I grew up. I, I, screw, I screwed up, baby, and I grew up late. <laughs> no, we never want to grow up. <laughs> the halftime there was sweet perfume as the Sergeant Man played the marching tune. We all got up to dance. Oh, we, been, we never got the chance. And when the players tried to retake the field, the marching band refused to yield. Do you recall what was the deal today? He didn't like psychedelic music. Mm. Now, Ooh. now we get into the heavy stuff. Altamont, you know about Altamont, right? What happened at Alphabet Rock Festival? Tell me. Oh, Altamont Rock Festival was a festival that uh, the Stones put on, wanted to put on a free concert, mm -hmm. and the only place they could find it was at this awful, dusty uh, racetrack outside of San Francisco, and the Hells Angels were hired as security, and they ended up beating wow. the shit out of everybody and, and killing a guy who they thought had a gun. And it was all filmed. This is, it was a really, it was like the death of the 60s, 60, December 69. It was like six months after Woodstock. Fuck, okay. oh. Yeah. It was a one-day festival, but it had... Uh, Symbolic. It was Jefferson Airplane were there. I mean, the group that were supposed to play, and they refused because they were on acid, and they heard that the... the... Anyway, hmm. so th this is about that, and um, him being mad at Mick Jagger, and... Uh... Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it starts off about, about, mm. about Woodstock. That ah, and, and the moon. Okay. Out there we were all in one place. A generation lost in space. But no place to start again. Here's off my face. Well, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack flash down the candlestick. Cause fire is the devil's only friend. Him on the stage, my hands were clenched in fits of rage. No day devil born in hell could shake the Satan spell. And as flames fly high through the night, I pack a visual light. I heard Satan laughing with the light. The day the music died. Chorus! And we were singing bye bye, this American bye. So much every day. will be the day that I die. Now this is about Janis Joplin. I'm in a go sang the blues. I asked her for some happy news. But she just smiled and looked away. And then this is about the more West and East, which closed, you know. <laughs> and I went down to the sacred store where I'd heard the music years before. But the man said, the music didn't play. This song came out in 71, by mm. the way. Big year of disenchantment. <laughs> And in the streets, the poets dream, lovers cried and the children screamed. Nothing could be spoken, the church bells were all broken. And of course, this is about Buddy Holly, Big Bopper, and Richie Bounds. And the three men that I admire the most, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, they took the last train for the coast. The day the music died. So bye, hey, bye, with American pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but my leather was dry. And good old boys were singing this key and rhyme. Singing, this will be the day that I die. Nice.
I, you know I'm not serious about that because that song is my tongue in cheek like oh American Pie. But I, I just, saw it was interesting the way the guy fit all of the sisters. I usually don't like being asked to play that song. Yeah, yeah that's a, I can't even remember all those words. <laughs> that's a lot of words. Yeah, yeah. that's a long yeah. song. And I got sick of it after a while when it came out. But you know, I did write a really pretty song about mm -hmm. Vince Van Gogh mm -hmm. called Starry Starry Night. But Starry Starry Night, it's kind of bitty, 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 but that's alright. Mm. I wonder if anybody, any rock other, there's a few other rock subtle songs about 